Brachi Hawa Brakata, Yehawasha, Brachi Hawa Brakata, Yehawasha, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders. Salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and sincerity. A lesson will be entitled The World of Israel, John 3 and 16. For the Most High so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. This world is referring to the world of Israel. Let's go to Matthew 1 and 21. And she, referring to Mary, shall bring forth a son, and you shall call his name Yahawashah, for he shall save his people from their sins. Hence, the world of Israel. Yahawashah only died for the nation of Israel, beginning with the elect. Back into John Three and sixteen. Let's focus on world. According to the Greek. Strong's G twenty eight eighty nine Cosmos Cosmos. All right, let's focus on definition eight any aggregate or general collection of particulars of any sort. Aggregate goes into what? A flock, right? A flock. Let's get some definitions. Slakia, yeah, some scriptures. First Kings twenty two and seventeen. And he said, I saw all Israel scattered on the hills as sheep, hence a flock. So Israel is also um, has a symbolic characteristic such as sheep, right? A nation of sheep. Again, and he said, I saw all Israel scattered on the hills as sheep that have not a shepherd. And the Lord Yahweh said, these have no master. Let them return every man to his house in peace. Jeremiah 15 and 6, my people have been lost sheep. Their shepherds have caused them to go astray. They have turned them away on the mountains. They have gone from mountain to hill, these different philosophies. They have forgotten their resting place, this truth, right? <clears throat> Ezekiel 34 and 12, as a shepherd seek out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep, Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh is seeking out his sheep. Now, this prophecy is referring to our time frame now. So will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. And this cloudy and dark day is ultimately going into what? The second coming of Yahweh Shah, the day of Yahweh Shah, hence and will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. Because Yahweh Shah is bringing judgment, right? 
So back into definition eight, any aggregate. An aggregate goes into a collection, but it breaks down into what? A flock or a general collection of particulars of any sort. Hence, Israel, the nation of Israel. Let's go to more proof, John 12 and 17. John 12 and 14. And Yahweh Shai, when he had found a young ass, set thereon as it is written, Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king comes sitting on an ass coat. These things understood not his disciples at the first. But when Yahweh Shai was glorified, then remembered they that these things were written of him and that they had done these things unto him. The people, therefore, that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead by record. For this cause, the people also met him for that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees thereof, it's like him, the Pharisees therefore said among themselves, perceive you how he prevailed nothing. Behold, the world is gone after him. The world, talking about Israelites, and at this time frame, the southern kingdoms, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And also you had a sprinkle of the northern kingdom there as well, but mainly the southern kingdom. And the Pharisees therefore said among themselves, perceive you how you prevail nothing. Behold, the world is gone after him. Again, for world. Same Greek term. Strong's G, 2889. Cosmos. Cosmos. Any aggregate or general collection of particulars of any sort, right? And also... A major key point, and this is the Greek term for Pharisees. Strong's G fifty three thirty, Pharisaios, According to an outline of biblical usage, a sect that seems to have started after the Jew exile. You can't get around that, right? So when we think of the Pharisees, automatically you associate that term to the world of Israel. Another key point, let's go to Revelation 3 and 16. Was it Revelation 3 and 8? <clears throat> Revelation three and ten. And this is Yahushua speaking, because you, referring to the elect of Israel, beginning with the 144,000, have kept the word of my patience. I also will keep you from the hour of temptation, which shall come on all the world to try them that dwell on the earth. And when we investigate world According to this scripture, Strong's G thirty six twenty five, Oikumene, Oikumene, which means what? The inhabited earth, sea, 
the whole inhabit it's like the whole inhabited earth the world so revelation 3 and 10 is talking about or referring to the entire world and revelation Salakia. Yeah. John 3 and 16 is talking about the world of Israel. Lord, will you edify Shalom?